Okay. Yeah. So thoughts, thoughts have been getting the better of you at the moment. You might be feeling quite tired and exhausted from constant rounds of thoughts going on. Uh, you could be recovering here from three or four heart, heartbreaks, uh, issues that are going on. Um, people might have said three things to you recently that's really got you a little bit concerned about one, how your relationships are going and two, how your finances might be eventuating. But yes, with this beautiful Pluto card here, you're going to be rising from the ashes of any situation that might have ended in the past. This is also a card to indicate that rest is really important this month. Make sure you take time out to meditate, you care for your body uh, and you get enough rest at all times okay it will be the great equalizer here for you if you do so and you'll find you'll be able to um, handle any situations that come at you this month okay yeah so phoenix rising from uh celebration of some kind these um issues might have been raised at a celebration here and or you've got a couple of friends here that are willing to support you through this massive transformation you're going through you could also be celebrating um a uh, a, a new romance of some kind as well could be um, also celebrating around the harvest or around harvest time so this is definitely indicated in October here uh, yes you could be looking back at relationships with your family in the past your relationships with your siblings here what your childhood was like was there equal give and take in the situation did you feel nurtured and loved at that time uh, this meditation uh, could be really helping you to get through the layers of what your parents might have spoken to you about, what they thought about relationships, or what they thought about money at the moment. So yes, it's time to leave those issues in the past as best you can. Get guidance if you need it from external sources to work through issues, ch particularly childhood issues at this time as well. Yeah, it could be dealing with a cancer here, but it's now time to get the reins in your own life, to balance the masculine and feminine sides of yourself here, the dark and the light in your personality here. You won't be able to get any forward movement until you do so. So yes, time out is really important at this moment. Check back on how you think and feel about what your childhood was like, but also what your parents um might have done or said to you when you were younger, as particularly as I said once at, just before, around relationships or finances here, and that is going to allow you to get the reins going, to get these two um, sphinxes here uh, up and going and be able to move forward. It's also a really big indication of movement over land, so you could be doing uh, travelling over land, need to do travelling of some kind possibly to go see a love interest as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, because yeah, there's a lot of um, emotions around you at this moment here. You could have had an individual here come up and want to uh, resurrect a relationship here, rising from the ashes, uh, offering you uh, balance and reciprocity in this relationship. Balance when it comes to um, equal give and take emotionally, but also financially. All well, this could be you wanting to have this in your situation. Okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, justice needs to be served in this matter, very much so. Uh, you could be dealing with the Libra as well at this time here. Uh, you are willing to balance out um, anything particularly uh, financial here, so it may end up in the court system if that's the case. If so, it will be balanced equally and fairly for both individuals here with Libra card and the Libra card here. Um, you holding the sort of truth hold, um, aloft in your hand here, um, and you know exactly what you want out of this situation. So if that's not the case at the beginning of October, I'm sure by the end of October here, you will have a much better idea of which, uh, what balance you want to see in your life. Okay. Uh, there could also be issues of, uh, divorce. Possibly your parents were divorced when you were younger here and you're trying to, uh, work through the emotional issues, even in your adulthood. Uh, they're starting to come up. Possibly you might be seeing mirroring in your own relationships or the same relationships that your parents might have had. Okay, so any more advice, please, for Aries? It is Libra season here, of course, at the moment. So, yes, it's very much a highlight for all signs at the moment that we're dealing with balance and reciprocity, wanting our fairness and beauty and everything around us here. So that is very much pivotal on your mind at the moment. And all this is the indication that these issues will be getting sorted out during this next month, definitely. 
All right. So more advice. Thank you. Okay. Temperance card of Sagittarius here. Equal balance when it comes to your emotions. Really important to make sure that you've got one foot very grounded or, or, or one part of your persona very grounded at the moment when you're dealing with your emotions. Uh, make sure you're not uh, out of balance uh, before acting in any way, shape or form because uh, it could lead to uh, the situation becoming worse than it needs to. It's really important to hook into your third eye and your crown chakra at the moment to really get enlightenment. The universe is trying to hand this enlightenment to you at this time. They want to see you victorious in this situation. They want to see you balanced and restore um, your energy in your body as well. Uh, another card of Libra here. So Libra's all over this. Um, you could be dealing with a very stern individual here that might have cut you off in the past and all this is you wanting to do the same to somebody else here. Uh, you might be wanting to cut out anything that's not fair, right and just in your life at this moment. Uh, it looks like this um, period of time is really highlighted that you will be able to do so, but make sure you balance your emotions as well as your thoughts at this time. Okay. You want to move away. Yeah, you want to move away from any troubles of the past here. You're willing to balance out once again the male female side of yourself to protect the child within. You want to move out of any um, tr um, troubled emotions, definitely. Uh, you are leaving them behind. And all oh, this is also a card of travel, too. I see this card where you could be moving over water as well. So it could be um, many trips had this month in some way. You want to be happy, completely and utterly happy. And it looks like geared towards the middle of the month, you're starting to, to realize that you can achieve it or are achieving it at this time. Uh, you're feeling quite good about yourself. You're feeling very confident here. Uh, this could be um, by you going to somebody who can help you out and uh, making you feel that you can move forward in life here, particularly when it comes to your finances as well. Uh, yeah, because the resurrection here. So yes, this could very much be a, a resurrection of a relationship here. Um, it is also judgment day when it comes to a relationship. So you will be making a, a final choice here on which way you'd like to go. Is it going to be the Phoenix rising moment? Will you be able to resurrect this relationship from the ashes? Or is it time to put it to rest? Now with judgment and these um, people standing up, I think it's time that you it may not be time to put it to rest. It might be time to act in which direction you'd like to go. Uh, once again, you are going to get intuition. I also feel that you'll probably get intuition too in the nighttime, possibly through dreams and while you sleep at the moment. Uh, yeah, and be very, very careful not to look on the negative at all at this time. What you need to be doing is projecting into the future exactly the outcome that you want to see here. Uh, remember, there's at least two or possibly three other individuals here willing to support you through this time as well. Um, be really careful not to isolate yourself at the moment because uh, it might exasperate um, any negative thoughts or emotions that are going around in your head at the moment. Uh, it's really good as well to get down to some sort of water source at the moment um, to be able to heal and bring your spirits up at this time as well. Uh, yes, it looks like one or both individuals in this situation are willing to work at it, to also willing to work at building up their finances to uh, a point where they are very stable. Um, it could take a lot of hard work. It could take time here, but it seems like you're willing to do so. You're willing to put in the hard work, whichever way um, you feel is the best way to go. Um, and or if you're going for a new job or starting off a new profession here, it will take um, some time to get it up and running, but it will be very successful. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favour here. You could also be dealing with a uh, fixed sign here, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio or Aquarius. Uh, but yes, the wheel of fortune is turning up in your favour and it seems like after a period of things coming crashing down in some way that you've been able to now rise from the ashes and be able to move into um, basically into the winning circle, you could say, okay. But as I said, it's going to take uh, for you to actually make this decision and decide which way you're going to head forward but yeah, you're going to be very victorious, okay? It's going to end up where you won't, hopefully in the past or, by, sorry, in the future, uh, but by the end of October, you're going to find that you are um, 
not having to worry so much about your money anymore okay all right any more advice please for aries advice for aries please any more advice for aries please thank you yes it's a brand new start it's a brand new day aries uh, this is your card this is you standing in your power here you are taking very little from the past with you uh, and it's very highly indicated that you should do just that there is once again support network behind you here also i see this is a card of travel so you could be deciding to go off into the you know the wild blue yonder here um and start to really transform your life into a life that uh, you may not have even perceived for yourself but also a brand new start a brand new cycle is upon you okay so that could have you feeling a little bit concerned but know that you are going to absolutely fly okay when this person takes that foot off that cliff they're going to sprout wings and fly but you've got to take that step okay being Aries it's a natural thing for you to to do this you will be uh, you could be a little bit hesitant but I can see that uh, once you get that form of momentum you're going to be absolutely feeling incredibly good you will be this is it, your card here two of your cards bang on top of each other okay so yes here you are sitting on your throne the king of kings the ability to be able to rule your life okay whether it be financially emotionally mentally um, or passionately here this is you getting the mastery of all four of the elements here and being able to to be able to be acknowledged and admired for exactly where you've got to and the status you have it looks like you're still willing to put in the fight in any direction um, and you've got to be really a bit careful here of being a bit too distant a bit too um Oh, you could say sort of a bit steely is probably the best way of describing it here make sure you don't isolate yourself emotionally at this time even though it might hurt to look back on these emotions um, it's really important to make sure that you honor them at, at the moment okay so we're going to have a look if there's any more advice here and then we'll get into the oracle cards for you but yeah it looks like a wonderful month for you aries here big big changes um worrying about money at the moment i think uh is going to be uh a short-lived issue uh you're going to change dramatically you're going to step into the unknown here you're going to be able to celebrate your successes make sure you take a lot of time out for yourself here look back on the past and deal with past issues if you're having trouble doing so by yourself make sure you you get somebody external your support network or maybe even professionals here to help you through sift through the layers here a lot of stuff from childhood might be coming up at this time uh, it might be time to release thoughts and patterns that might have been exhibited around you when you were younger things are turning up for you um, and you are going to be able to move away from the troubles of the past starting this month of october because yes you are going to be with the emperor and empress here also power couple um, you may be starting off a brand new relationship here and or um, resurrecting an old relationship here but definitely a power couple these two individuals the king of kings and the queen of queens they have mastered all four elements they are known for their absolute um, complete and utter rulership of their world their their finances everything here they are not bountiful beautiful and um absolute rulers okay so there'll be no questioning aries this month there'll be nobody questioning you this month okay you know what's right for you this month aries okay start to go after it take that great leap and i think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised with the outcome by the end of october here right congratulations aries very well done all right so we're going to have a look at your abundance here using the angels of abundance oracle cards thank you partnership allow helpful supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you're receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources yes partnership all over this so yes this could be a, a friend this could be a work colleague but it also looks like a, a union of two souls here are working towards 
uh, attaining what they desire from this world and from each other in equal partnership here. Okay, so that's wonderful news. All right, so we're also going to have a look at any health issues that might be affecting you this month, Aries. Any health issues affecting Aries this month, please. Any advice when it comes to their health, please? Thank you. Okay. Leave a stressful situation behind. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage and willingness to take good care of myself, including surrounding myself with healthy relationships and positive situations. Very important to surround yourself with healthy relationships and positive situations this month. Okay, so if you're finding that in the past that wasn't the case, uh, even if it's family members or friends or anything like that, don't be afraid to take a great leap into the unknown this month and make sure you attract, you will end up, sorry, attracting very healthy relationships around you. Okay, keep your thoughts as positive as you possibly can. Aim for best case scenario and the universe will start to deliver this for you. So yes, time to leave stressful situations behind, even if it's, um, leaving your occupation, your place of work this month. If you've really been thinking about it for quite some time, now's the month to do it. The universe has your back. You will rise like the phoenix from the flames. Okay, so any love blocks surrounding Aries this month? Okay. Protection. Protect yourself from the negativity of others. Yes, Leave a stressful situation behind. Uh, allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and protect yourself from negativity of others. Surround yourself with people that raise you up, not bring you down this month, Aries. Your body. How you feel about your body affects how you give and receive love. Make sure you care for that beautiful gift that is your body this month. Honour it, cherish it, and you will thrive. Trust. Take a great leap of faith and trust. Here's that full card. Here's your card here. The angels have your back. It's time to make that great leap. It's time to make that major change in your life. Leaving behind anything that's been stressing you in the past. Moving into a new, glorious, fresh cycle. A cycle where you will be the ruler on your throne. Without a doubt, the king of kings or the queen of queens. So congratulations. All right, so we're also going to have a look at any affirmations. One just popped out. I'll see if there's any more for you here. Okay, the first one was, I have the perfect living space. I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It's in a beautiful location and the price I can afford see yourself living in that perfect absolutely perfect place for you Aries make sure it fulfills all your needs and desires the best case scenario okay it will be in a it's in a beautiful location and a price you can afford okay and that is what the universe will deliver even if it's a place you're in at the moment see it is the best it is for you at the moment but know that change is rapidly coming if you wish to to move on or up my life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. Once again, by surrounding yourself with really positive, uplifting, inspirational people, you'll find that this really impacts on your life. If you're looking out there and realizing the people in your life are not exactly how you'd like to be perceived or the person you'd like to be, it's now time to move on to situations where you start to attract in individuals that are of a higher um vibration. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. 
Beautiful cards. So yes, big massive changes coming for you this month, Aries. The universe has your back in this major change. You're going to be shifting into a higher vibration here and you're going to be able to start to look after your body, your mind, your spirit. You're going to feel passionate about your life again. It's time to take that great leap into the unknown here. You will not fall. You will fly, okay? You will be the emperor or empress on your throne. It's time to balance out all things in your life here. Leave any stressful situations in the past and move into this new glorious future.